Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we are going to continue the step, the setup for TensorFlow object detection and this is basically the step two. In the first step, we created an environment, installed TensorFlow 2.2.0. The reason we use TensorFlow 2.2.0 because I verified that the entire setup was working perfectly fine. So we are going to follow that particular step. Yes, you can obviously try with TensorFlow 2.4.1. Now in this particular step, we are going to, I'm just going to show you how you can install the CUDA libraries and uh, CUDNL libraries specifically for your GPUs, you know, whichever GPUs you are actually using. And, uh, if you want, and I'm just going to show you the steps guys. The detailed video has already been created here. You can see this tutorial 33, installing CUDA toolkit and CUDNN. Here you can actually check it out because again, I've discussed about the steps properly in this. It is more than 20 minutes video. So you can definitely follow this. I'll provide you the link in the description of this particular video. Now, the next step, what I'm going to, I'm just going to show you the steps, right? Now, let me just of all, first of all, open Anaconda prompt. Now inside the Anaconda prompt, we had uh, created an environment which is called as TFOD. And uh, if I just write Python, okay? And if I try to import TensorFlow as TF, right? When I do this and when I execute, how do you verify whether your GPU is working or not, okay? And probably for the people who do not have GPU in their local machine, it is fine. Don't worry about it. Because this entire TFOD will also run without any GPU also, because you already have the pre-trained models. They'll just download it from the GitHub, right? So I, once I execute this here, you can see that it will show successfully open dynamic library. Now this is a library. This is the DLL that is used for the TensorFlow to communicate with the Titan RTX GPU, right? So you don't have to do anything much. Uh, with respect to this, this installation is pretty much common. Right now I have NVIDIA Titan RTX. So based on NVIDIA Titan RTX, I have to install CUDA 10.1. So I tried with 10.2 also, 10.3 also, it had some of the configuration issue. So you have to find out which version of CUDA toolkit will work. I'll tell you the steps, just follow it for the GPU. Start with 10.0, then go with 10.1, 10.2, whatever version you want, okay? And if this kind of message comes, and probably this DLL will be different with respect to the version that you are using, I'm using 10.1, so I'm getting this particular DLL. Suppose if you are going to use 11.1, here you'll be getting CUDA R64 underscore 111, right? It may be like that, okay? So I'm just giving you as an example. Now over here, before uh, I go ahead, I'll just going to print, or I'll just go to write TF underscore version underscore. If I execute it, you can see my uh, TensorFlow version 2.2.0. Now let's go and start the first steps. Now here I'm just going to open the notepad, okay? The first step is that, we are going to install CUDA toolkit 10.1. The reason 10.1, again, it depends on your GPU, which version will work, okay? And there is also a page in NVIDIA where you can check for which version, which toolkit may work properly. So first of all, there's this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the Google search for NVIDIA CUDA toolkit 10.1. So this is your archive file for that. I'll just open and click it over here. Remember, before you go ahead, you have to log in into this particular account. Okay, this is very, very important. Without login, you have to log in into the NVIDIA developer account. Now here you have CUDA Toolkit 10.1 original archive. I'm just going to click on Windows. The version is 10. I'm just going to download this. So once I get this EXE network or you, you can also download EXE local. This is a huge file, you know, somewhere around 2.4 GB. I'd suggest go with EXE network. It is a small file, 18.7 MB. Later on, when you will be doing the execution of that particular EXE, it will download all the files from the internet, okay? So download this, and after you download, probably your uh, downloading will happen. After that, you just have to execute this. Uh, I mean, just open this EXE file and start the installation process. Once you start the installation process, I'm just going to go to my file explorer. <clears throat> Inside my file explorer, if I go to my C drive, program files, and there will be something called as NVIDIA GPU toolkit. Now inside this, automatically this installation will happen. So you, here you can see the entire installation is basically happening over here. Now the next thing is that uh, after this, you have to go with CUDNN libraries, NVIDIA CUDNN libraries. This is the toolkit. You, next step, you want the CUDNN libraries. So for that, just search for it. NVIDIA CUDNN libraries, download. Okay, you'll get the first link, open it again, okay? After opening it over here, you can see download CUDNN. Probably for that also you have specific version. Let's see what all versions you have. Um, it's okay. Uh, you can you can fill this form. Okay. So I'm doing object segmentation. If you want really to select all this TensorFlow, 
and others i am just submitting it like this because i have been using this okay enhance coverage of 1d evolution mm. okay please explain how you use i'll just say object detection right that's it i'll submit it okay and these are some of the steps that we really have to do then i agree now here you can see 8.1.0 8.1.0 different different version of cuda releases are also there what you can do is that along with 10.1 you can also try with different different things i definitely tell you go ahead with this uh, this will definitely work sorry this one cuda 10.1 for specifically with respect to cuda toolkit you also have cudnl libraries now for 10.1 all over here right you will be able to see different different versions i'd suggest go with this one 8.0.5 which is the recent one for cuda 10.1 now once you do this and probably i'll be installing it for windows see this guys this is the step right cuda archive i have went i can see all the steps away you have to go really slowly you have to understand this particular steps right now here i'm just selecting this one which is the recent one for 10.1 i'm just going to download this windows 10 now here after you download this you will be able to get uh like this kind of file so let me just open that particular file if possible okay uh i'm just going to open that file and once you open this particular file guys you will be getting a dll file and that dll file you have to copy and paste in the bin folder okay so let me just explore it and extract here yes to all okay so here it is this is your cuda fi file that that will be present inside your bin you probably have to just copy this copy this entire thing inside your drive which drive basically your this drive right so you just have to copy it and paste it over here okay copy this entire thing entire thing and just paste it over here that is the next step that you have to do this is from the zip file that you have taken just copy this paste it over here that's it that is the only step that you have to do after this uh, go to your environment variable go to your environment variables inside this environment variable you need to set up the path which all path you need to set up we'll try to have a look so first of all uh, the first path that you have to write is cuda underscore path give the cuda path of 10.1 right wherever your path is so i've written c program files nvidia computing this 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 with this right automatically one path as you're doing the installation there also you'll be having an option to add the path so that part will also get added after this uh once you have done this go to the path section here you will be able to provide all the path now what all path you need to provide now see this guys the first thing first uh, here you can see that nvidia gpu toolkit cuda v 10.1 so you have to give your bin folder path after doing the entire copy paste the second thing that you have to give is of your uh, lib nvp so i think it is there here over here lib nvp right so this two path as you give it give it once okay then after that just select on okay okay and this is okay after this when all this particular setup is done go to your command prompt again go to your command prompt and just again check it out like this right so just check it out by just activating sorry just write python over here and then you just do import tensorflow as tf now based on the version it will directly pick up this particular dynamic library 64 uh, cuda art 64 underscore 101 dot dll now this particular dll is actually present over here you can see this okay let me just show you uh so i'll go to my c c drive and program files uh toolkit cuda 10.1 bin sorry bin so here you can see one of the file will be here cuda one cuda art cuda art cuda art cuda art 64101.dll so this is the file that is being used right now in order to access my nvidia gpu right and this is how you can basically check it out uh, if you also want to find out a way other than this how to check it out i'm just going to open my anaconda prompt and uh, probably open my jupyter notebook so that also i can show you so uh, i'll go over here activate my env sorry it's not my env tfod okay and probably what i'll do is that i'll open a jupyter notebook let me just show you uh, okay here it is c drive uh, i'll go to my e drive because i've kept the notebook over there i'll say cd deep learning uh, and then i'll open my jupyter notebook jupyter notebook 
Uh, okay, TFOD. Okay, I don't have a Jupyter Notebook, but let me just install it. So I'll go to my Anaconda prompt. You also have to install the Jupyter Notebook. Probably we are going to use the Jupyter Notebook for this particular purpose. And here for this specific environment, I do not have any Jupyter Notebook installed. So I'll do it from the Anaconda Navigator. It is quite simple. So I'll click on no reminder, remind me later. I'll just go to that particular branch, TFOD. Okay. And here you can have a lot of things like PyCharm, you have Jupyter Notebook, whichever you want. PyCharm is by default installed, you can see over here. Let me install this Jupyter Notebook, okay? I'm just going to click on this. So the installation will take place automatically. So it will take some time, but anyhow, my internet is fast itself, uh, it will happen. Uh, now this is fine. Now I have done it. Now I can launch it. Now I'll just go back over here and write Jupyter Notebook. Now I think it should work. Perfect. It is opening. Now let me just take one example. I think I had created on cats and dogs. I think I have a code for this. No, I don't think so. This is the thing. Um, deep cotton diseases i think i had something like this <coughs> okay this is also not the example but i think we can do uh, with respect to this i had one code that had been written over here let me just check it out cotton disease mm, inception v3 okay so now if i go and write import tensorflow as tf uh, let me do one thing let me just uh, download a code from somewhere you know so let me download a code from somewhere you know and i'll say check tensorflow or uh, i can just search in the google what is the check gpu is available gpu is available check if gpu is available in tensorflow so if i go and check this link uh, probably i'll be getting the answer Mm. okay let me just go and pick up this and i'm going to say this tf.test.isgpu available cuda only is equal to false let me just execute this probably i think this should work so it is saying me true okay uh i can also use this statement right so if i really want to find out my gpus that are available so i'll just paste it over here and here you have gpu is equal to zero if you have multiple gpus then you'll get values like zeros and ones if you just have one gpu i think uh, this will be getting by default the number is zero okay now i think i've done the setup of this cuda libraries and all now the next step probably will be to create my object detection uh, how do i create or set up my tfod that will be the next step but i hope you understood regarding cuda toolkit and all if you are selecting 10.1 right also make sure that whatever uh, cudnl libraries are you are selecting you're selecting for that specific toolkit itself which is very very important okay so i hope you like this video please do subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber i'll see you in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one doll bye bye and yes in the next video we'll try to start the setup you know from creating this everything now we in this step we have actually focused on installing the cuda toolkit yes i'll see you all in the next video bye bye guys